must be a YouTuber. I am. <laughs> I just finished making my morning coffee. I actually have a pretty busy day planned ahead of me. Jordan and I are planning on heading down into Pasadena because he wants to take some photos at this place called the Huntington Library. So that is on today's list of things that we need to do. We're gonna get ready here in a second. We're gonna grab some breakfast, some brunch, head out, go see this like outdoor museum place and then kind of spend the day in LA area and then I'll see what else we have planned on the list for today but I made my yummy yummy coffee we usually get our coffee from Trader Joe's and we just kind of grind up the beans here at home so yeah I figured I would bring you guys along with us on our I don't know day in the life LA diaries and yeah i hope that you guys like this video it's pretty cold out still kind of overcast so i don't know if i can wear my outfit that i have planned for today but let's go we are on our way to brunch i just wanted to give you guys a quick little outfit of the day the dress that you guys saw me wearing is thrifted as well as some shoes i'm going to be wearing later i have on some of my friend's jewelry from his new jewelry line and then i actually spent just a little bit of time putting on some makeup i'm actually just wearing some blusher and some mascara and i didn't really want to put anything on my skin because it's been doing so so well and i'm actually really impressed so we're on our way to grab brunch and then take all the photos and everything she got the white top i want to spend my life with you babe. we got the sunset going down i just want you now
literally just been walking around the grounds, checking out the rose garden and pretty much like all of the inside museum stuff. But there's this really cool statue right here. Crazy. found this little guy in my driveway I'm gonna put him back on the plant so he he feels safe in nature I'm so happy we finally get to add some new plants to the bedroom so we've had this plant actually on our checklist for a few months but this is a money tree and this is actually very very tall so i feel like this is going to add a nice you know pop of color some dimension to the bedroom i'm just going to throw it here in this new corner here we're currently in the process of like renovating the bedroom so we have this really awesome like new standing light right there but i feel like this corner so i'm just gonna go ahead i don't know throw her here like this i almost forgot to show you guys before i wrap up this video but i have some new tote bags that i've been working on for like the last week hopefully i will have these up and launched on the website within like the next week or so i'm hoping to take some pre-orders very soon but really cute 100 cotton canvas tote bag because you guys know we're naughty hookers out here and i've also been working on these crew neck sweaters how cute is this these are so fun to make and hopefully i'm gonna have these in like small medium large extra large but i made this like three or four days ago and i cannot stop rocking this i wear this to bed i wear this to the gym but i've just been wearing this everywhere but yeah, really excited. New Naughty Hooker merch going live on the website very, very soon. So I've just been getting a little bit of editing done today. But as I'm putting together this video, I've realized I haven't really given you guys a studio update in quite a few weeks. So I've been a little bit MIA on social media recently just because I've been working so hard. And as you guys just saw, I've been working on making some really cute naughty hooker canvas tote bags these are 100 percent cotton tote bags so i'm trying to be as sustainable as possible but they're super lightweight they're really really great and in case i didn't show it in the last clip there is a little bit of a gusset here on the bottom edge of the bag so you guys can store like your laptop in this like i literally took this to the coffee shop today put my laptop my charger in here and just got some work done of course y'all use this to store your yarn your hooks take your projects with you on the go but this is one of the things i've been working my butt off on recently and I'm also really excited to introduce to you guys the newest resin hook collection. I don't really know what I'm going to name these yet, but these are my fruit hooks. 
and I think they're so, so darling. I actually put a lot of time and effort into these because as you guys can tell, they do have like this peachy gold glitter that is kind of see-through, but you guys can see a little bit of that color showing through. And then of course they have these super cute fruit slices inside of the hooks. So this has been like the latest resin collection that I've been working on. So cute. So much color. I love the fruit slices. I feel like they add such a cute little character to it. And of course, these are going to be sold in the sets of six again. So here they are. Nice and up close. So fun. Look at all the color. Look at all the shine and the glitter inside. So fun. So if you guys have any names for these hooks, please let me know down below because I cannot think of anything more creative other than fruit hook set and i feel like that sounds kind of lame but yeah i've just been working my butt off i've been filming a ton of other like daily life in the vlog daily vlog videos recently i also just took some time the other day and filmed a plant tour so i'm really excited to show that to you guys i have so many plants that's gonna be it for this daily vlog video i hope you guys like today's video and if you guys have any other video recommendations for me please let me know down below in the comments because i want to film some more lifestyle things that you guys would like to see me make and also i haven't really announced it here on my youtube channel but i am currently in the process of making my own hand dyed yarn I cannot believe I'm even saying that. You guys know it's been a dream of mine to one day open up my own like yarn shop, yarn store. So I have literally all of the materials that I need to get started except for my yarn. I am waiting for my yarn to come in because I did purchase from a small family owned business and you know, all of the yarn is gonna be coming from their sheep. It's gonna be cruelty free yarn low produced yarn so i'm really really excited and i'm really glad that i get to be supporting another small business like mine i'm trying to make sure that i do my best to make sure that i'm as transparent as possible with my entire hand dyed yarn journey process making sure that the yarn is quality and again cruelty free produced yarn i believe this family owns all of the sheep on their property, on their farm. So that's really cool, that's really exciting. So I am planning on filming this yarn dyeing journey. I hope you guys liked seeing that stuff as well. Hopefully soon enough I can get some swatches and put everything up on my website. But if you guys are interested in different kinds of hand dyed yarn, also let me know down below what you guys like to see me dye, what kind of colorways, speckled, solid, tonal types of yarn. I've just been such a busy girl. We've got big, big plans for the rest of this year. So I'm just trying to bust my butt now, get my business booming as best as I can. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and contributing to me and my small business and my channel. I truly appreciate it. And I love you guys. I'll be seeing you all very, very soon. Stay safe.